Um, I am not a high, you know, speed fanatic. I don't go, you know, top speed in this thing. Uh, it very rarely sees 100 miles an hour, to be honest with you. And to do a modification where you see most of the, the, the gains in the range that you don't even go in, it just didn't make sense for me. guys so we're gonna talk a little bit about why I chose shorty headers over long tube now this is obviously a question that I've been continuously asked and for good reason a lot of people go with long tube headers uh, and the reason why is because the horsepower gains are up much greater um, so what was the point of me going with shorty headers well the first thing that uh, when I was weighing the option between the shorty and the long tube is that long tube headers are going to run me or run you a, about $3,000 to $4,000. So you're going to get the headers for, let's just say $1,200. Um, the installation is going to probably be around $1,000, maybe even more. Then you have to get the um, unlocked PCM right away, the tuner. So you're looking at, at a dyno tune or a custom tune. So in one shot, you're going to be paying one lump sum for headers. And that's between $3,000 to $4,000. And so the gains for three dollars to $4,000 would be around 45 horse, uh, wheel horsepower. And, you know, to me, that's, that's a healthy amount of uh, money to be paying for that kind of horsepower. So, from a financial standpoint, I was thinking about it. And with the shorty headers, I am now $1,300 deep into the headers, the installation, um, and then you factor uh, my Diablo and my Unlock PCM cost what six hundred dollars, so that's nineteen hundred dollars. And then I'm gonna get a custom uh, tune, so you're looking at a little over two thousand dollars for the shorty headers. And I'm going to put this thing on the dyno to see what the wheel horsepower gain is, and I'm expecting probably around twenty-five to thirty horsepower. So I'm going to be getting 10 to 15 less horsepower, but I'm going to be spending probably a thousand dollars less for the, the, you know, for my overall setup. So that, you know, that kind of ballparkish range is what I was thinking about. Also too, once they told me that with the long tubes, I would lose a little bit of horsepower and torque, torque in my zero to 60 range, I said, no, I didn't want any of that. Even if I lost one horsepower, I didn't want to do it. Um, they, the, the horsepower gains that you're going to get from long tube headers are when you're sailing on, on the highway and you're going like 70 and you, you freaking punch it, you're going to notice a huge uh, difference with the long tube headers. And really what I wanted from my car is I want to notice the horsepower and torque from a dead stop so I like lower range horsepower when I'm cruising at you know lower speeds and then gun it you know um, I am NOT a high you know speed fanatic I don't go you know top speed in this thing uh, it very rarely sees a hundred miles an hour to be honest with you and to do a modification where you see most of the the, the gains in the range that you don't even go in, it just didn't make sense for me. Uh, if I were to have this as a secondary car or if this car was being set up for a quarter mile, I would have gone with the long tubes. 
Um, so now with all that being said, there was also another big reason. This is a daily driver in New York where the roads are crap. And if you watch some of my videos, you'll hear me hitting potholes and all that other good stuff. And one thing that many people don't discuss about long tube headers is it lowers your clearance because of the long tube header design. Um, they stick down, um, further. So if you're driving on shittier roads or bad roads or whatnot, um, you can very easily mess up your headers. And that is something that I didn't want to, to do, uh, with this being a daily driver, I didn't want to have to worry about me bottoming out and messing up my, my headers. Uh, so the shorty headers are basically a plug and play. You take out the stock manifold, um, and it's a direct replacement. You don't have to worry about anything else. Uh, it just kind of bolts in right there. So, you know, that was another, those are three really big reasons why I ended up going with shorty headers. Um, and you know, I just, I want to make it really crystal clear that it's not like, I'm not saying that shorty headers are better or anything along those lines. Uh, I don't want anyone getting that impression because at the end of the day, if I put long tube headers on this car and took it to the drag strip, I would likely end up with a much better time. So, you know, just keep that in mind that when I modify this car, it's with a daily driver mindset. Uh, you know, I, I drive this thing every single day. So I don't want to set up and mod this car for a quarter mile if it's never really going to see the track, you know? Um, yes, it will end up seeing a track, but that's not the ultimate goal of this car. It's just to add, you know, little bits of horsepower here and there and, you know, make it just a super fun, fast daily driver. And that's really the goal of this car. So that kind of explains why I went with shorty headers. And the reason why I went with hooker headers is because the quality of uh, the stainless steel that they use, the welding that they do, uh, they're a company that have They've been around forever and they produce a great product. So I thought that rather than, you know, sacrificing and, and not like basically cheapening out and getting the, you know, a $500 or $400 sh uh, shorty headers, I would just go all out, get the best product. This way I don't have to worry, uh, you know, a couple of years down the road, you know, the, the headers leaking or you know, the welds messing up or anything along those lines. I just wanted the best product to be put into the car so that I don't have problems down, down the road. And, you know, that's kind of why I went with the hooker black hearts. And uh, I'm glad that I did because, you know, I, I look at the, the reviews on, on hooker headers and people just have nothing but great things to say about that, that brand. So, um, you know, that's kind of, what went through my head when I was deciding between the long tubes and the short tubes and then ultimately which short tubes I, I wanted to go with. So um, I'm very happy with the decision that I made. Uh, I just, I think it's a, a really important addition. And once I get the custom tune, uh, we're gonna actually see what the shorties can do on the dyno on April 28th. So I'm definitely pumped about that. And that's that, guys.